What is going on guys? Welcome back to Channel Critical Overlord here. It's about Friday the 13th in this video here today. We know recently Roy Lee uh, was on the Boo Crew podcast. I believe is the name of that podcast. Bloody Disgusting had this exclusive they put out where Roy Lee had sat down and discussed that some exciting or big news would be coming. That's the expectation we all have now going off his comments he made. It's about the status and the future of, the, uh, of this uh, Friday the 13th franchise. And it seems that he may have been teasing that a new Jason Voorhees movie was going to be announced later this year. And now I, sh I got to shout you out, uh, Craven Something Scary, if you're listening to this. Sean S. Cunningham's cameo site, if you're familiar with that cameo service, that's where people can pay for personalized videos from celebrities. This seems to be giving some more weight to what Roy Lee was hinting at. And I will talk about something else. Uh, I don't know if you touched on this craving something scary um i didn't really get to finish the video but i did start to see where you were going so i wanted to shout you out but jumping into basically what's happening sean s cunningham who we know was in this brawl or this legal battle with victor victor miller over the rights and everything i'm assuming these two have decided to come together and give us an adult vor he's jason movie and it looks like it might be coming next year on his cameo site for Sean, Sean Cunningham, his bio states, Sean S. Cunningham directed and produced the seminal horror film Friday the 13th, creating the iconic villain Jason Voorhees. The movie has spawned 12 installments with a 13th schedule for next year. What's so interesting about that? Well, again, the fact that it's mentioning next year for the release date of this new soon to be announced upcoming jason movie again seems like that's what exactly roy lee was talking about when he was teasing some some exciting news coming that partnered with the fact that even in october 2023 itself there lies a date of friday the 13th friday the 13th october 2023 most likely is going to be when we see jason Voorhees come back if this is indeed something that will be proven to be factual and confirmed later this year, a part of what Roy Lee was hinting at or alluding to in that Boo Crew podcast. Now, for a lot of Jason Voorhees fans out there, again, I'm a fan of this series. This is exciting news. I'm not saying I was mostly looking forward to another Jason movie, but it's been a long while since I've seen the hockey mask killer, and I'm not against seeing him back if it's something that is a good iteration of the character something that maybe dials it back in a certain way that makes it more grounded over a lot of the leaps and jumps they've taken over the course of these movies after part four but i'm expecting this to be a reboot in in a way something that hopefully introduces his father i, I have talked about this so many times i think you have a great a great chance here to finally introduce elias I'm certain this character at one point was supposed to be introduced in other entries in the past and it just never happened. So you have a chance to do it now. And I hope that's something that's factored into this new iteration of Jason. If this new movie is actually what is coming, if this is indeed what Roy Lee was talking about, uh, because if so, and you introduce his father, you can dive into so many different things there about why Jason is the way that he is. And, you know, for people concerned about giving him an overly sympathetic backstory, Jason Voorhees in and of himself was already someone who had ingredients to have a sympathetic backstory. He drowned at Crystal Lake, thought to be dead. His mother ended up snapping over it. You know, he was deformed, not fitting in, again, bullied, all of this stuff. And then knowing what I know from researching his father, father seems to have been abusive towards pamela so you know you could factor so many different things into this into this uh upcoming reboot if they decide to do that uh i'm just going off a of memory from like comic book stuff and just novelization lore about elias Voorhees. certain he was abusive so you know that could play into why jason is the way that he is and again if you think that's overly sympathetic that's fine jason though when comparing him to freddie and michael myers this the ingredients were already there out of the three jason had the most sympathetic backstory even without us diving into it as completely as i i think they're going to do going into a reboot if they were to were to do this i actually think that would be the appropriate thing to do introduce his father 
tweak some stuff with Pamela and that relationship. Make it something where Jason probably was hiding in the woods all these years as a little boy into adulthood, hiding from his father. Uh, you could tweak it and say that his father, Elias, killed Pamela. Pamela never went on any rampaging at the at Crystal Lake after Jason drowned. You know, tweak the mythology a bit. Set it in modern times if you want to. Uh, and just introduce a whole crop of new characters in modern times with Jason Voorhees. Seeing them at Crystal Lake with cell phones, social media. You know, so many different avenues you could take along the lines of just making this a modernized take on Jason Voorhees. And I know many people a part of Gen Z would appreciate more, maybe so, than people... Well, I'm part of Gen Z. I know a lot of you are part of Gen Z too. But... You know, the members of Gen Z who grew up with these original movies, maybe we won't come out on the other end liking a modernized take on it. But at the same time, I can see it being very appealing to anyone who hasn't been introduced to Jason Voorhees just yet. And they were part of Gen Z. And this is their first introduction to the character. And it's all modernized. And it's filled with things that are very attractive to them. Because it has all these pop culturally relevant items in it. Like cell phones. Mentioning TikTok. And I'm not saying you have to have all of it saturated throughout the movie. But having these kids at Crystal Lake. Summer camp time. These teens. Having them address all this stuff with social media, throwing cell phones in the mix, and then adding Jason Voorhees as well. That's something that would be very appealing to anyone who's a part of Gen Z and hasn't seen any Friday the 13th movie. Uh, but I, again, think the biggest component here for me is definitely introduce Jason Voorhees' father. I hope Sean S. Cunningham's bio over on Cameo is indeed something that is rooted in truth. Because that's, that's a big nugget that you found, uh, Craven Something Scary. That's a very big nugget. So and I think that's another cushion under what Roy Lee was alluding to with this podcast discussion he had where he, where he was talking about something exciting coming pretty soon related to this IP. So Jason Voorhees' return could indeed be right around the corner. It could be happening in October 2023 because, again, in October, there is a date for Friday the 13th. So you have Michael Myers leaving us this fall. But Jason Voorhees is coming back next fall to fill the slot. That's pretty poetic to me. But we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.